Hey guys, Rhinosaurus Rex here, and today I'd like to say thank you to all of you who helped me reach my personal goal of 100 subscribers. So, to commemorate this event, I'm giving you all an anime theory. And today's theory will be that Lucy created Fairy Tale. So, with nothing more ado, here we go. So, we all know the main character, Lucy Hartphelia, best known for her plethora of costumes, plus her rare magic of Celestial Summon. Now, she is also a huge bookworm. This is shown many times in the anime, and it's also shown that she writes her own books. However, she is very self-cautious about what she writes, and she doesn't want people to read it. But, what if I told you that none of it was real, and it was all just a story? As a child, Lucy was saved by a girl with a fairy tale symbol on her hand. This caused Lucy to want to join the guild. However, what if she only wrote a story about it? In the OVA memory days, we learn that Lucy went back in time and saved her past self. However, this could have all been made up by Lucy just to explain who had saved her. But let's actually look into how she could have wrote the story by looking at the main characters in Fairy Tale, namely Natsu, Grey, and Urza. Coming from a respectable family, Lucy couldn't do anything reckless. That's where Natsu comes in. He's the male version of her who isn't afraid to let go a little bit, be a little wild, and cause some havoc. As we can see in his personality being narrow-minded and reckless. Grey, on the other hand, is essentially Lucy's dream guy, being super attractive and having a nice personality to boot. This can be further proven when Gemini transforms into Grey and mentions that he's slightly attracted to Lucy. It would also explain why Juvia is head over heels for Grey, being a sort of love rival with Lucy and constantly fighting over their dream guy. Now Urza is to show the feminist side of Lucy. She's one of the strongest in the guild as well as the only thing Nats and Grey fear. She's also supposed to act as a role model for Lucy to look up to, both in strength and in beauty. She's also one of Lucy's best friends, so that she can have a female friend to be around instead of just being near two guys. Now, Lucy had an incredibly tough childhood, and her father was very harsh on her. This caused Lucy to antagonize her father in her stories. In the Phantom Lord arc, it was her father's fault that Lucy was beat up by Gargiel. This is to show how harsh he was on her as a child. When her father fell sick, Lucy felt sorry for him. That's why Jude became a little less aggressive towards Lucy during the middle of the season. However, she still held a grudge against him, which is why he was more of a jerk than actually aggressive. But it wasn't until his inevitable death that Lucy started to regret the feeling she had against him. To show that, she made the Lucy in her story have to go through the same thing she did so that she could show the emotions that she felt during the time. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this theory and that it shed a little bit of light on the true writer of fairy tale. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can get to 200 subscribers. And I thank you all for watching. If you have any suggestions for another theory I should do, just put it in the comments below. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.